Hey, everybody. It's the Salty Pug Lord. How y'all been doing? Well, I just figured out how to edit my C bills in my MW5 save game file, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. And just remember this number, about 2.483 million C bills right here. Or just remember 2.4 million C bills, no big deal. So that's the number that we're going to edit, and I just wanted to show it to you in the game, and then we'll pop out and I'll show you how to edit it. So you're going to need something for this editing task called a hex editor, which is a program that doesn't just understand text files, it also understands binary files. The one I'm going to use is called HXD, not because I have any great love for that one, or in fact ever heard of it before half an hour ago. It's simply because it was the first one that came up on a Google search. So first we're going to have to figure out which file to edit. So bring up a command prompt by typing CMD and CD to percent, whoop, percent app data percent. And this should take you into your username app data roaming. You have to do CD dot dot get, to get back out, then CD to local, then CD to, I think it's MW5, yep. Then CD2 saved. Sorry, you can't see that. And from here, I believe it is saved games. Now, we have to go into whatever this weird long string of digits is. It'll be different for you. This is an identifier for the campaign game that I'm currently in. It's a randomly generated number that uniquely identifies my current campaign. It will be different for you. But just do CD and then type the first character, in my case six, well, if I could type, and then hit tab. And that's the shortcut to just have the computer fill in the rest of that. Now in here you'll see all these different save games. And the first thing we have to figure out is which file in here we're going to edit. So take a look at campaign.json with notepad. You can see last save file name is this 48 DCF blah, blah, blah file. Okay, that's the most recent save file. That's the one we want to edit. So I'm just going to take a quick look over here, blah, blah, blah. Looks like several of these start with 48, but one of them is more recent, 9.55 p.m. as opposed to 9.46 p.m. So this is the one we want, and I'm just going to copy this right here, edit copy, okay. And then we will start up uh, HXD and we will open and we'll have to dig. Oh, I'm already in the correct directory because I already did this before. You will have to get into the correct directory. Um, so we're looking for the one from 9.55 p.m., which is this one. It's the most recent one, more recent than 9.46, more recent than 4.14, and open it. Now what we're going to look for in here is the string available C bills. It's in here multiple times as part of different things, so you have to find the right one, but for starters, just hit Control F and type available C bills. Whoops. This isn't case sensitive unless you especially tell it to be, but try and uh, not be me and try and type it correctly the first time. Okay. So this first result when we search is available C bills changed. That's not what we want. We want plain old available C bills. So type the F3 key to search for the same thing again. Now we have available C bills, struct property six, MW big int, value int 64 property. What this tells us is that somewhere in here, the available C bills is encoded as a 64-bit integer, which means it's eight bytes. And this little bit of junk right down here with this kind of SZ script or beta, depending on how you want to look at it, and then this other junk, this looks to me suspiciously like an encoded 64-bit integer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor right there, and then I'm going to hold down shift and do right arrow eight times to highlight these eight bytes because a 64-bit integer has eight bytes. So hold down shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I suspect that those eight bytes are my C bill number. So I go over here and it says, if that were uh, an integer 64, that would be 
million C-bills. Hmm. I think we've got it. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm just going to add 10 in front of it. So instead of 2.4 million C-bills, I have 102.4 million C-bills. And then I'm going to click over here so that it propagates the changes into the actual file. You can see they're highlighted in red. Now I'm going to do File and Save. OK. The changes have been saved to the file. And now if I open up Mech Warrior 5 again, I really hate this unskippable epilepsy warning screen. Some modders need to figure out a way to skip that shit. It is stupid. So go into single player, continue your game. It's going to load up the saved game. It's currently loading up the changes that we made in that file, among many other things. It's loading a lot of stuff, just not, you know, not just the change we made, but it's loading up everything. So here we are in the mech bay. And if we hit tab to get our console screen, oh look, now all of a sudden we have 102 million C-bills. So there you go. That's how you edit the C-bills in your MW, uh, MechWarrior 5 save games. As always, when you cheat in a single player game, you are only cheating yourself. You are not cheating anyone else. So if you do this and you wanna cheat yourself of the experience of the game, that is your problem and that's on you, okay? You're not hurting anyone else besides yourself, and I firmly believe that you should be allowed to hurt yourself if that's what you want. All right? And just because I'm that kind of anal retentive, I am going to, oh, hang on. It could have made a new file. Is there one newer than 955? There is not. So, nope, there is one, this guy. Okay, so we have to open him up. And there is one at 10.01 PM, that's him, 10.01. And we have to control F, search for available C bills. Learn to type, dumbass. Available C bills changed is not it. Hit F3 to find it again. Available C bills struct property 6 MW big int. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bytes. We will erase my 100 million C bills I gave myself. And the changes are here. We're going to save them. Okay. Done. And now we will go back into MechWarrior 5. Stupid screen, PGI, please fix. Mod community, please delete. I don't want to jump cut this in editing because I feel like you might think I was cheating you. I want you to be able to see everything, but that means I have to kind of pointlessly talk over this so you don't become bored. So sorry that my prattle is inane. And we're back to our 2.483 million seabills. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that you are staying salty, my friends.